This is quite a nice tuft here. It's, it's the very finest grasses that are most critical for the, the young larvae. That's a good one, I like that one. <laughs> Just have to hope later we, we do see them all up here. I'm Sharon Hurl from Butterfly Conservation and we're here at Cavernham Heath, which is National Nature Reserve um, managed by Natural England, and one of the partners of the Back from the Brink project, Shifting Sands. Lunar yellow underwing is one of the priority species in, in the project and it does well here. It's only really found in the Brex and the coastal sandlings of Ipswich and some parts of the Norfolk coast, but otherwise it's quite scarce now. When you've got good colonies of lunar yellow underwing, you, you know you've got good habitat for a whole load of other Brex species. This is the sort of place a stone curlew might like to to occupy. Forester moth likes this kind of habitat as well. And then there's a whole host of other invertebrates, uh, tiny, tiny little Brecon plants that all thrive on this bare, stony ground. The Brex is an important landscape um, in Norfolk and Suffolk and a very distinctive area of dry, arid, chalk and sandy soils. As part of the Shifting Sounds projects, we've been working with other partners to improve the rabbit numbers. We know that the rabbit population has taken a complete tumble here in the Brex, and that's bad news because the Looney Yellow Underwing did really well in conjunction with the large rabbit warrens. It is a balancing act for, for, for land managers in the Brex, for sure. So I can even see here where the sheep have been chewing the tufts right down hard. If you had a situation where the grazing pressure was so high that they were all like that, the moth is not going to survive. These particular precious spots like this are really much less uh, frequent than they were and, and, and understanding how to, to get these back is part of shifting sands. So we've been doing more mechanical interventions with um, machinery and this particular spot I'm standing on is a piece of bare ground that was done about 10 years ago and we have been monitoring the um, lunar yellow underwing here for some time. So we're here waiting for darkness to fall tonight because this is when we um, survey for the lunar yellow underwing larvae. Uh, we look for them at night in torchlight because they have the, the, the habit of coming up from the grass to the, to the, the old seed heads from, from, pre, from the previous summer and then you can spot them with your torchlight. The way we do this, because um, we've got 10, 15 years worth of data of these types of surveys that previous volunteers have done, and they did it as 30 minute counts for two people. So if you've got a big group of six or seven people, you can actually cover quite a bit of ground really doing these counts. And then that's a standardized comparison to previous years. Once you've got a caterpillar, you've got to establish it actually is the lunar yellow underwing and not the more common square spot or six spot rustic, which are also sort of brown stripy caterpillars. But the lunar yellow underwing, it's got a, a line along, along its back and then the black chevrons, but it's quite crisply marked. Um, and it's a more slender uh, larvae than, the, than the, the rustic ones, which are fatter. So what we've got here is, is a lunar yellow underwing. That's brilliant, that's so many, isn't it? 